You want to do it again? Okay, you break first. No, uh, you break first. We could just stay here. All right, with me. Fine with me. You're both very good. Thank you. <laughs> I could get out of this, you know. Try it. Okay, I tried it. Uncle! Uncle, your ass! It's the little things you share together, swear together, wear together, that make perfect relationships. The concerts you enjoy together, neighbors you annoy together, children you destroy together, that keep marriage intact. It's not so hard to be married when two maneuver as one. It's not so hard to be married And Jesus Christ, is it fun It's sharing little wings together Drinks together, kings together That make marriage a joy It's bargains that you shop together Cigarettes you stop together Clothing that you swap together That make perfect relationships Uh-huh The Little Things You Do Together is a very Stephen Sondheim song. Here with Martha Plimpton, Stephen Colbert, Neil Patrick Harris, and of course, Patti Lapone. In one song, we come upon a couple killing themselves trying to show who is better at karate. But it's the little things we share together, swear together, the neighbors you annoy together, the children you destroy together that make marriage a joy. Once again, Sondheim shows us that there are many feelings you can have at the same time in a relationship and how he plays around with the words. Company is about Robert, a bachelor, whose friends are couples and they're very dysfunctional. He's a bystander watching their relationships. He also has three girlfriends who he keeps on hold. In the next song, You Can Drive a Person Crazy, sung by Donna McKechnie, Pamela Myers and Susan Browning, these ladies were waiting for him to make up his mind about commitment. Oh, that sweet affection, what is wrong? Where's the loose connection? How long, oh Lord, how long? Bobby, baby, Bobby, 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 Bobby you could drive a person boggy. You could blow a person's fool, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. like you make a person feel all hoggy, while you make her feel a fool. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. When a person says to you, Bob, you impersonate a person better than a zombie should. I could understand a person if he wasn't good in bed. I could understand a person if he actually was dead. Do 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 do. Exclusive you, elusive you. When any person ever gets a juice on you, you're crazy. You're a lovely person. You're a moving thinking mouth. A song that struck me when I first saw the show and really made an impact on me is Another Hundred People, sung by Pamela Myers, here from the 1993 reunion concert. Now remember, that is 23 years after the show opened in 1970. That is a lifetime of a college graduate. So, you know, these people are doing pretty good. There's also a clip of her in the documentary they made of recording company. She sings about New York, and for me, it's so vivid, and it hits the nail right on the head. Another hundred people just got off the train. And another hundred people just got off the train. 
When we talk about fear of commitment, Sondheim created the final word about that in a song sung here by Beth Howland. Listen to the tempo. The music expresses her anxiety and craziness, and we get anxious listening to it. Here, we find her on the morning of her wedding day. Look, I don't know what you're waiting for. A wedding, what's a wedding? It's a prehistoric ritual where everybody promises fidelity forever, which is maybe the most horrifying word I ever heard of, which is followed by a honeymoon. We're suddenly here, realize you saddled with a nut and want to kill me, but you should. Thanks a bunch, but I'm not getting married. Go have lunch, because I'm not getting married. You've been grand, but I'm not getting married. Don't just stand there, I'm not getting married. And don't tell Paul that I'm not getting married today. Go, can't you go? Why is nobody listening? You might go and cry at another person's wake. If you pick or unkick, you can pick up a christening, but please. You know, we'll both of us be losing our identities. I telephoned my analyst about it. And he said to see him Monday, but my Monday will be flooding in the Hudson with the other garbage. I'm not well. I'm not getting married. You've been swell, but I'm not getting married. Clear the hall, because I'm not getting married. Thank you all, but I'm not getting married. And don't tell Paul, but I'm not getting married today. Robert brings one of his girlfriends home to his apartment, and they have sex. To express what's happening, what they're feeling or they're not feeling, Sondheim and Michael Bennett, the choreographer, put in a fabulous dance number. We have Donna McKechnie in the song TikTok. This song is usually cut from most productions, but here it's done at the 1993 reunion concert. And any chance I have of watching Donna McKechnie dance is an absolute joy. One of the most famous songs from Company is the song Ladies Who Lunch. It's hard to think of the song without thinking of Elaine Stritch. It's become her anthem. She struggled with this song. She called it a three-act play and very hard to perform. But here's an incredible clip of her singing it. Bunch. 
the dinosaur surviving the crunch. Let's hear it for the ladies who lunch. Everybody rise, 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 why not? Rise, 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 rise. Robert is always on the outside watching the couples even watching his girlfriends and not really participating in life. He finds himself alone and empty. Company is a concept musical, meaning that the songs comment on the topic of relationships and marriage rather than occurring at the emotional high points in the storyline. Sondheim in his song shows us the ambivalence we all feel in life. I think that's why we relate to his song so much and also his music. We see ourselves in the characters in the songs. Raul Esparza said that people would come up to him after the show when he was in company and say, oh, we feel so sorry for your character, Robert, he's so alone. But Esparza felt that the people were really feeling sorry for themselves. They saw themselves in his character. They see the loneliness in their own lives and they relate. We all know Sondheim is known for being a wordsmith. He's famous for the clever way he rhymes his lyrics. He goes to great lengths at times to make things rhyme, but they are perfect and they truly suit the characters in the songs. Company was the first Sondheim musical I ever saw. And when I saw it, I was struck by its modern quality. I was also struck by the way I could hear New York in the sounds and excitement in the music. I also totally related to Marta who saw another hundred people come off the train. I would think to myself, all these people are moving to New York, there'll be no room for anybody here anymore. With all the different couples and their crazy goings on, he always tackles unexpected themes that range far beyond traditional musicals. On the outside, the show is funny and clever. We laugh at the jokes. Underneath, we realize that these people these people really do struggle with their relationships and marriage. At the end of the show, Robert sings Being Alive. He comes to a point where he realizes that although it's difficult to be with someone, he'd rather take a chance than spend his life alone. Here's Dean Jones, who is the original Robert. Hi, it's George again. I had to do company, folks. After doing my last video about Sondheim, I really had to focus on one of his shows. I was in a Sondheim state of mind. As I said in the last video, his music has become an important part of my life, and I really consider this man a genius. Once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and tell your friends about my channel. There's some incredible links I put in two productions of Company and the documentary about the recording of Company. It's amazing. You really see the insides of the people who created the show. Now, until I see you again next week, please stay safe, stay healthy, and all my best. Isn't it? That's what it's really about. Really, I'm you, I love it. You.